Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? Is the Daiwa Fuego really the best reel at a $100 price point? Let's talk. Okay, guys, jumping into the review. Before we go into details, I've used this combo for spinnerbaits all season. I can't think of any other bait that I've tied on this combo. That's the Advantage Spinnerbait. Definitely check those out. Been using them all season. I'm definitely digging them. I know you guys will as well. Advantage Spinnerbaits. We got that on 15 pound Seagar Senshi. It's a mono line. 6.3 Fuego on a 7 foot medium heavy fast action rod. Okay. Out of the box, I do want to say the reel feels pretty dry, but majority of the dial reels do. So if I do plan to use this reel, Next season, I'll definitely break it down, lube it up, that way it's good to go next season. Again, it does come pretty dry. You can definitely hear that as you're retrieving your baits and all that. So, Other than that though, guys, there really is no complaints about the reel. You know, I will say the braking system, I love the Daiwa braking system. I think it's fantastic. But that dial, every once in a while, will give you a headache. If you guys look at the dial there on the Pro Qualifier, you'll see that it's recessed. Okay. Now, I do love that the braking system dial here, you can move it very easy. That being said, the fact that you can move it so easy, half of the time you move it and you don't even realize you're moving it. So you're making casts, catching fish. Next thing you know, your casting distance has decreased. That's because you've moved that dial and you didn't even realize it. So I do wish that dial was recessed. Other than that, it's a fantastic braking system. Now, the reel is... Very comfortable in hand. If you guys remember the old Tatula reels, they were very wide because they had the T-wing system. This one does not have T-wing, so it's a much smaller frame here. Again, very comfortable in hand. It does not have a clicking tension knob. It does have a clicking drag star. I love the grips. I've always liked those Daiwa grips. They're very, very comfortable. Um, great casting reel. Um, nice retrieving reel. I mean, it's a, it's a comfortable reel to fish with. Okay, no complaints. I think you guys... Um, we'll dig it. If you pick it up, you're going to like it for sure. Okay. Where this review is going to take a little turn is comparing it to other reels just because I feel there are other reels that can really challenge this reel at the $100 price point. And I want to make sure you guys are getting the most for your money. So I want to give you guys a couple other options. But where I think you'll grab this reel over others is if you're a true Daiwa fan. Okay. And a hundred bucks, let's say no sale, but a hundred bucks for retail, you know, diehard Daiwa fan, most likely you're going to go with this reel over others. But again, if you want to branch out different brands and all that, I just feel there's other choices that uh, you should know about. Now, that being said, if you guys are a Carl's Club member, and I'll link this down below, Carl's Club free 30 day trial, you can get the Fuego CT for like 80 bucks. So again, keep that in mind, but we're going to go full retail. Okay, so full retail, 100 bucks, Fuego CT, very, very nice reel. Okay, that being said, okay, you guys know that I've been using the Pro Qualifiers for years, okay, seven, eight, nine, 10 years, something like that. I've been using the Pro Qualifiers. I absolutely love them. I've always said I feel like this should be like a $200 reel, okay? Now, these are usually on sale during the classic sale for like 50 bucks, so keep that in mind. But full retail, $100 price point, I personally will get the Pro Qualifier over the Fuego CT. To me, it's just more comfortable in hand. It's more of a workhorse reel. I mean, I absolutely love the Pro Qualifier, okay? Moving on from there, we have the SLX. Again, another solid reel at the $100 price point. To me, it's more comfortable in hand compared to the CT. It's a better casting reel. It just, to me, it's just a, it's just a better overall reel compared to the Fuego CT. Now, here's another way I can put this to you guys. You know, I've, I've used a lot of different reels. Sometimes I'll buy a second, third, maybe even a fourth of one particular reel. It just depends what I'm using it for, how it performs and all that. Like uh, the Corrado DC. Okay, if you guys haven't seen that review, definitely check it out, but that's a fantastic skipping reel. So most likely I'll buy another one of those down the road just to have a backup skipping setup. Okay, with the Fuego, Let's say I want another reel in that $100 price point. Most likely, I'm going to buy another SLX, maybe another Pro Qualifier. Or the other issue I do believe 
with the Daiwa reels, it's going to be, um, as far as uh, comparison goes, it's going to be the big brother to the, uh, the Fuego there, and that's going to be the Tatula CT, okay? That's really where I feel this reel is going to fall short, being so close in price points to the CT here. I probably recommend this reel uh, more than any other reel because it really is hard to beat at that price point, 130 bucks. So if you're gonna go full retail, 100 bucks for Wago, 130, Tatula CT, I'm picking Tatula all day long. The T-Wing system, to me, um, is just, it's so much better, it's worth that extra 30 bucks. So if you're gonna say, hey man, what's the best reel for 100 bucks? I'm gonna say, save your money and go with the CT. Again, I think this is really going to be for the true, for the true Daiwa fans. I want a Daiwa reel, but they're kind of fixed on that budget. You know, I think that's what I'm going to tell you guys. Yeah, the Fuego is fantastic. If you're fixed on that $100 budget, go with Fuego or even shop around and maybe you can find a CT for hundred bucks. But if not, maybe save up your money and go for that Tatula CT just because I do, I do feel it's, it's that much better um, than the Fuego. So that's kind of my take on it and where I feel that, like I said, that that reel is going to come up short is there's just so many reels in that price point. And again, the big brother here, the Tatula CT, man, it is tough to beat for 130. So like I said, if I'm going to buy another reel in that $100 price point, it's going to be one of these other two or the CT before I buy another Fuego. Again, I'm not dogging the Fuego at all. Don't think I'm ripping on it. It's a great reel. If you have it, again, I'm not dogging the reel. I just want you guys to be aware of other reels that are in the price point or even close to it that you may want to consider before you buy the Fuego. But again, if you're a diehard Daiwa fan, if you found it for even cheaper, if you're on Carl's for 80 bucks, whatever, pick it up. No doubt you're gonna love it. It's a solid reel. It performs fantastic. Again, I got zero complaints with it. But again, I just like others at that price point. So that's kind of my review on the Fuego CT, again, I'll go ahead and link it down below at Carl's. You guys check it out for 80 bucks if you guys are interested. But uh, just while we're in here though, you guys know I just love rambling on. How many of you guys bought these reels years ago just for that red on there? That's the Type R. And I got, what do I got in here? I got some cool reels in here. I haven't opened this case up in a while. We got the SV-105, man. I see this video turning into, showing into, turning into show and tell here, so I better go ahead and stop. I know a lot of you guys, uh, dig reels and all that, so I want to pull a couple of those out. But anyways, guys, I don't want to drag this video on any longer. If you guys really want to see like a bunch of my old reels, maybe leave some comments down below and we can do another video or something like that. But anyways, guys, that's kind of my review on the Fuego CT. Again, if you guys pick it up, you're going to dig it. If not, look at a couple other options that I mentioned here. Smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you guys on the next one.